So here, uh, as uh, Sai said, so data analytics is a process of you know converting the raw material into a useful insights where it will be used for predictions and for the better uh, decision making for a business. So uh, the important terminologies in our day like uh, will be using here the data analysis, data analyst and data scientist. So what it is actually. Data analysis is a process of, you know, the cleaning, transforming, modeling, the process. That process is known as analysis of data. Data analytics is a process of uh, examining the raw material and will be concluding uh, the set of uh, data using the various tools like spreadsheet, Excel, as well as MySQL programming language. All the tools will be used in the process of data analytics. And data analyst is a person who will be using data analysis and data analytics. The entire process, the person who will be handling the process is known as data analyst. He's a profession. So here also, we it's important to know that uh, where all the data analytics is spread it over. It is used in business, healthcare, finance, as well as sports, also in telecom companies, retails. So nowadays, everyone will be using the data. So in business, it is used for identify the market trends, optimizing the organization's operations, and also improving the customer satisfaction or experience. So in healthcare, it is used for, you know, uh, to know the data of uh, disease outbreaks and patient monitoring, improving the patient care. It will be helping for improving the patient care as well. So in finance, like, you know, managing the risk, optimizing the investment portfolios, also the fraud deduction can be done. Whereas in sports, it analyzes the, you know, uh, players' performance and improves the team strategy and enhance the fun engagements and all can be analyzed with the data. The process, it, it is also used in sports as well. So again, here we have three different terminologies, that is data analyst, scientist, and engineer. So most frequently data-related jobs are into this uh, titles, that is data analyst, data scientist, and data engineer. So we have a data engineer over uh, here on the call, that is Vida, he'll be handling all the cloud datas. Whereas data analyst, as we discussed, they are the uh, the to start with the professional data analyst. It will be starting with the initial stage data analyst. Then next data scientist will be using the advanced tool. Above that, the data engineer will be using uh, the tools for cleaning the data and transforming the data into useful insights. So whereas the data analyst, he'll be working with the predictive and uh, sorry descriptive and diagnostic analysis. And also he'll often work with structured data. Like he'll be using the spreadsheet, Excel, uh, and also the visualization software like Power BI, Tableau, R, so on. So and also the scientist, he'll be into more advanced. He'll be using the predictive analysis and also he'll be more engaged into the statistical tool and machine learning, also the programming languages like Python and R. But most frequently he'll be working with both structured and unstructured data and it will be involved in predictive and prescriptive analysis. So, but whereas the data engineer, he'll do all the works along with that, he'll be working with the data cloud tools. Uh, it may be the Snowflake, it may be the Azure machine tools. It may be, uh, you know, AWS Blue or AWS Redshift, so, uh, so on. There are many uh, data cloud tools where we can store the data. These are the initial differences to be known. Uh, what is the difference between data analyst, scientist, and engineer? And here, as said, these are the tools used by the analyst, scientist, and engineer. 
And the important part is knowing the different types of data analytics. So we have a uh, four kinds of, uh, you know, analytics, which will be used by all the three persons. One is analyst, scientist, as well as engineer. Here we have descriptive. Descriptive is nothing but the past. Diagnostic is present and uh, prescriptive is future. So whatever the data which is, which is stored or which is recorded by the organization, it is known as the past data, the historical data. By using that, the data analyst or engineer or scientist will be evaluating and giving the meaningful insights. The process is descriptive. Diagnostic is knowing the reason for uh, what happened in the past, why it has been happened, and that why questions. Finding the reason for that is known as diagnostic. But as predictive, we have, uh, you know, by considering these descriptive and diagnostic, the predictive data will be predicting the future. What we can do, if there is a reason for that, how can we overcome with that? So that process is known as predictive. This can be done using the machine learning as well as the programming uh, language. Uh, this conclusion can be drawn and this work will be done by scientists, analysts and engineer as well. So we'll be covering that in a live projects in our ongoing classes. So here the prescriptive analysis, whatever the decisions has been made that can be, uh, uh, you know, put it into an action that is known as prescriptive analysis. So these are the different types of analysis. Also, we have uh, data type uh, like uh, different data analysis, quantitative, qualitative, exploratory, and we have uh, casual analysis, inferential analysis, also the predictive analysis as well. So these comes to end statistics topics, quantitative, which can be measured in terms of number, qualitative, which can be, uh, you know, which can't be measured in terms of number. We can give an examples, the ratings, here we can give an employee or um, uh, the customer satisfactory things. Uh, and exploratory. In exploratory data analysis, we have, you know, um, all the visualized methods and summary main characteristics where it includes the stock market data to detect the plans and also the market ideologies and correlation can be done in exploratory. Whereas uh, predictive, you know, like uh, comparing to the historical data will be predicting the future events or trends of the business. And uh, casual analysis we have, uh, we have, we can do determine that cause and effect relationship between the variables that is known as casual analysis. So, yeah, we can take an example over here to understand what exactly in the real time as a data analyst, engineer or the scientist will be working on. So suppose today in my live class, I have explained. So one example, actually. So here we have a data of yeah, we have a raw data of healthcare projects. So we have uh, all the name, age, gender, diagnosis, treatment, and the admission date and discharge date. And this data is of healthcare project, okay? So what is the business requirement over here? So we have a business requirement. What is the average patients in a data set? So you'll be getting the questions like this, where you have to find, analyze the data accordingly. So for example, in this particular example, so we have a customer-based company. So suppose take a telecom company where he'll be, uh, the project overview will be, you know, the company has, uh, the fear of reducing their customers. So they want to identify the patterns to identify 
who are leaving the organi uh, like leaving you know the telecom company and also we have to predict uh, which customer are at the risk of leaving in the future or churning in the future right so for that as a data analyst so uh, uh, what is the process will be involved in a real time so here you have a data so which includes all the details as if now it has been structured uh, it has been solved so if suppose the missing data is like this you'll be having so you have to collect the data if suppose the john has taken a medication treatment if you don't have that information so the first process you have to you know collect the information for the particular customer as it is a healthcare you have to go with the treatment what treatment he is into you have to collect that and you have to clean the data and you have to analyze what is analyzing the data can anyone tell what is analyzing the data gautam and uh, sai what is the process of analyzing So see like uh, if there is any change in the data over a period of time mm -hmm. uh, yes that is a part also you know identify them identifying the patterns so the sense is analyzing is a process where you will be finding all the answers to the questions whatever the business questions you have the process is known as analysis so here you'll be analyzing all the questions asked by the company like uh, it may be uh, what is the average of the patient in a data set it can be what is the diagnosis in the most common and it may be what is the gender distributions for a specific diagnosis it may be diabetics or hypertension and likewise how many patients were admitted in each month and so on like that you'll be analyzing each and every question from the data set so here you'll be having maybe uh, like 50 to 100 data set. Yeah, 48, 49 we have. But in a real time basis, you'll be having a huge data. For that, you have to follow the each step. First, the collection, then cleaning, and then analyzing and predicting. In the sense, we have to predict. We'll be having analyzing the data, right? We'll be having a result of it, the question answer. So by considering the result of that, we'll be predicting the model and we will be preparing the visualization tool using Power BI. We can do in programming languages also. We will draw the insights for the business. So the entire process will be done by data analyst, engineer, as well as the scientist. So here, here we go. The same thing, the first thing, collection, cleaning. Cleaning process can be done in all the tools. We can, uh, you know, clean the data in Excel, Python. Uh, in database, we can clean the data, but most probably we'll read the data in that. So we'll understand the data in database. So, and again, we'll use the automation tools for cleaning the power query. So we'll be learning all the things in our upcoming classes and analysis by using Excel formulas and the dynamic array formulas, pivot table, uh, power query, all the things, the tools, uh, formulas will be used to analyze the data of the business. And then, yes, continuously, the role of the data analyst, once the every process is done he has to monitor all the results frequently quarterly he has to maintain the data accordingly so it is his roles and responsibilities once you have completed the data analytics course what next so if you want to start up uh, the career as a data analyst after the course you'll be having n number of opportunities as an analyst data analyst you can go with uh, business intelligence analyst, reporting analyst, market research analyst, finance analyst, operations analyst, product, healthcare analyst, sales analyst, also the risk analyst, 
business analyst and quantitative analyst. So these are the options available in the current market. So you can switch your career to this and the package will start from, for a freshers, it starts from six LPA without experience. So if you have an experience into different domains or working with cloud or uh, any other uh, coding background, so you can demand up to uh, like minimum from starts from 10 LPA. And so here, so we are here, the syllabus part. So the phrase, phase one, data collection, data cleaning, and uh, preparation and insight generations and dashboard building. So here uh, we are, you know, uh, for data collections, it may be the primary data or secondary data. So here we will be learning uh, to prepare the data database. MySQL will be learning. And for uh, presentation, the dashboard building will be using Power BI uh, end to end. And along with that, if we, uh, if the time permits, we'll be using Tabu, and I'll be teaching you the Tabu in a couple of days, and also our tool to, you know, uh, extract the data, and all will be preparing the dashboard using the insights whatever we have drawn, and here the projects, uh, these are the real time projects what we'll be practicing after the classes. One is healthcare, banking, finance, HR analytics and uh, aviation and also the e-commerce thing. So these are the topics uh, what we are going to learn. That is uh, <coughs> spreadsheet, Excel, MySQL, Python, and also the AWS tools we have. These are all the uh, data storage, that is cloud data storage, which is AWS View, AWS uh, Data Pipeline, AWS QuickSight. AWS uh, Redshift, AWS Athena, and AWS EMR, RDS. And also the important part, the Power BI. Whatever we do, analyze, clean, reshape the data, it should be presented in a proper format to give it for the business, right? So for that, we'll be uh, using the Power BI dashboards. Here coming to the Excel overview, we'll be learning end to end, like from basic to advanced functions, formulas, everything. Also along with that manual, we'll be learning uh, in an advanced way that Power Query, Power Pivot in Excel. It is an automated tool where we can clean the data, transform the data and load the data. The Power Query is also known as uh, ETL tool where we can extract, transform, load the data. So also we'll be learning uh, VBA and macros. Again, the SQL from basic to advanced, all the fun functions, queries will be working on. And uh, Power BI from installation to creating a dashboard and also interacting with the uh, Python Excel with the Power BI, everything we'll be learning with this. And uh, from like, you know, from Python, fundamentals of Python, we are learning uh, basic to advanced, whatever it requires for the analysis as a data analyst, engineer, or uh, scientist. So as of now, we will be teaching uh, the libraries, which will be helpful for visualization and also the basic concepts of uh, Python. Along with that, we'll be learning the machine uh, learning, that is chat GPT, history of it, types and functionalities and prompt engineering as well. So here we go, the entire process of uh, data analyst. And this will be a weekend batch. So do you have any questions? So Gautam, uh, Sai, yeah. Hey, hiya. This is Sai. Yes, hi. After seeing the curriculum, like uh, I'm just confused. Like, firstly, we will be learning the tools, and then uh, we'll be doing the real-time projects. Or how does it go? Like, first the projects, and then the tools. 
No, actually what we are into is as we have a shortage of time, we'll be taking the real time projects along with that hmm. and solving the uh, projects with all the functions. See here, we go, I'll show you the things. Somewhere here. I don't know, we have done today. So yeah, we'll take a real-time projects. Along with that, we'll be using the formulas and solving all the question and answers or uh, like business requirements along with that. So let me show you how it works actually. So these are the relative uh, absolute and mixed references. Somewhere it mixed. <laughs> Yeah, so here uh, it is a data over here. I have uh, explained them today, the dynamic array functions. So here we learned uh, three, three to four dynamic functions today and uh, extracted the data according to the needs. So this can be put uh, in a proper way. So here we have used uh, the sort filter and sequence formula to extract the data from the table, right? So this is a real-time project where we, the question for this formula is, I want the sequence like top 10 patients by their age, right? And it has to be written in an ascending order. So the data is, the age is the third column. As you see, the age is a third column, right? One, two, and three. Right. So here I have given a filter and sorted in an ascending order. That is one represents ascending order. If we write minus one, it shows a descending order. So mm -hmm. the thing is, we have an age in ascending order. You can see 26, 28, 29, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 33, right? So here, according to this age, I have top 10 patients data. Okay. So this is how it works. So this is called as dynamic array function. We'll be using all the three functions at a time. Also, we can use, if I want it in a descending order, I can change it here, the formula minus one. It gives a descending thing. And press enter yeah you can see 70 69 67 like that it works in this kind so also we have few more uh, thing in this if you see in filter function in the entire uh, Nitin is a student name I have given his name for this table to make him understand in that table I want a diagnosis heart disease how many patients we have, the data only based on heart disease. Okay. Right? So this formula explains that data name sorry the table diagnosis so can you hear me now Hello. yes yes now we can hear you is it clear now yes now it is better yeah okay. 
So yes. So in this filter function, mm -hmm. I have given a criteria that I want a data, the heart disease in this particular table that too only concentrating on the column diagnosis. I have selected filter entire table along with okay. that I want a data of diagnosis only the heart disease patients so I'll, I have uh, extracted the data of it only we have three patients mm -hmm. only we have a three patient that is uh, Mary, Daniel and Jassy so with the age of uh, 52, 65 and 66 and uh, both are male and one is female they are uh, into surgery with for heart disease like this we can analyze it also we can use uh, like you know multiple criteria for the filter functions mm -hmm. where i want only the name to be extracted from that from this criteria so that i can use equals the table name and i can give the name over here along with that in the diagnosis i want heart disease patient that too age which is greater than 50 the conditions has been applied along with that by using the uh, star the multiple icon the operator so that we have a three patients mary daniel and jason so we can change it according to the requirements of the business it's also unique we can use Unique, so one quick question, like sorry to interrupt, like uh, yeah. So the previous one you were saying, like uh, we were uh, retrieving the name and you added two uh, conditions, right? Like one is the age and the heart disease. Mm -hmm. So if, uh, I could see like between these two conditions, there's an asterisk. So that means like whenever you add any conditions, we need to append it with an asterisk operator. Like that's how it works. Yes, exactly. We can use this or we can use ampersand sign here. We can combine. If, you are, if we are combining the columns, we can use ampersandage. So if we want exact match, like the conditions, I want age more than 50 who are with the heart disease. So I can use this operator in between the condition. Okay, okay. So if you want to add another extra condition, like if the patient name starts with N or something, then again, you need to put the asterisk and uh, something like a like operator. That's how it works. Uh, yeah, it will work actually. If you are into uh, multiple things, we can. Along with that, uh, this amp percentage, how it works is I have given like unique mm -hmm. table name. I want only the name also i want you know the diagnosis what they are into so here if i in between i have used and and uh, the double inverted comma so that it gives a results here john smith he went under the diagnosis is hypertension and uh, alice she is into diabetes robert asthma and uh, mary heart disease like that we can combine by using the amp percentage but the exact match we can uh, obtain by this operator only name i want and i have given the criteria i can change the age if there is any uh, according to the admission date or according to the treatment i can extract the data by using the operator also we have sort and sort by functions so sort, I can show you. Yes. So see, sort is nothing but, you know, uh, arranging the data in a proper order, which may be ascending order or descending order. So here, the sort, I have used ascending order. So where in the total table, the column three, which is age, right? The number is age. And it has been arranged in an ascending order. You can see if I want it in a descending order, I can change the formula to minus one. It gives the data according to this. If I want not age, I'll go with another column. 
let us take two, the column two. I want that uh, the character to be arranged in ascending order. I can give it as one, enter. So you can see the sort table. I'll just highlight this table. by giving the color. So here you can observe the data is in sort function has been used. You can observe it has character has been capitalized uh, in an ascending order. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, like that. It has been arranged with the name. Right, Alice, your uh, Betty, C for Carol, so this kind we can sort. Only sort is used for single column adjustment. If I want two or more column to be sorted, so I can use sort by function for that, so that I can use a multiple criteria for the single table. So here in this formula, I have uh, given a criteria, the total table. And in treatment, I want it to be uh, you know arranged in an ascending order. And also the age should be arranged in an descending order. So what I did here is, so I'll let me give, the age should be in descending order. So minus one and enter. So here you can see that we have treatment is in ascending order. You can see, see this, right? A, B, C. But according to this, it has been arranged in a descending order, 31, 29, 28. And here, coming to B, 45, 43. C, 57, 67, right? Like that. It has been arranged in a descending order. And also, if uh, we change it to, again, and the important feature functions of this to be known is whatever we are running the dynamic array functions in for a particular table, the formula can be edited or can be rewritten only at the first cell of the table. If we give anything formula over here, it doesn't take, it doesn't highlight actually. Okay. Only the first cell, see, it gives an error. So only the first cell where we can rewrite or edit the formulas. And the array, the array can be represented in a blue line. You can see this. Uh, this represents the dynamic functions are running in a particular column and row. So Perfect. this is one, one function. Yeah. Uh, so firstly, we are sorting this by, if you go to that sort by one, which you were previously showing, that uh -huh. form. Okay. So firstly, you sorted by column A or AF, like. Uh... Okay. Uh, it has been sorted with the uh, column name, like uh, C. Here, I have sort by the total. Uh, I have taken a table number. Again, the treatment in that mm -hmm. I want to sort it by in an ascending order. Okay. And here, again, the second criteria is in a table, I want age to be sorted in descending order. So let me uh, re uh, reshow you the formula. Escape. So yeah, we'll take equals sort by and take a table name what i have given is in healthcare mm -hmm. in that i want in that i want uh, the data of name to be sorted okay i'll okay. write it as comma table name Which is name 
it should be sorted in an ascending order like one okay. quick question like uh, when you uh, when you're sorting by the name after giving the table name like are you hitting like the bracket or is it taking it's an autofill like you're uh, getting... no i'm writing a bracket so see uh, okay. the square bracket should be used to select a column so mm -hmm. to select a <laughs> entire table we are using uh, round brackets okay 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 and again, selecting a table in which I want uh, what what shall we take the second criteria to be sorted. So shall, we'll take a gender that is column one, two, three, four, right? Mm -hmm. Let me take a gender. And it should be written in descending order, minus one, oh, sorry. Yeah, descending order, it doesn't give only male and female it will give. So let us take any other columns. Let me take diagnosis. It is to be written in descending order. Close the bracket, enter. So here, in the criteria we have given the name should be written in an ascending order and uh, the diagnosis should be written in a descending order so d okay so this is how it works actually got it like with all the a columns with again you're sorting by the diagnosis like uh, okay yes So yeah, this is how the overview of the data analytics course actually will learn, will learn from the basic to advanced entire thing. So do you have any questions? Uh, no, I think mm -hmm. I'm good. Like, uh, coming to the Python part and the Excel, so even uh, Python you would be teaching till the intermediate level? Uh, yes. Uh, as of now, so for an analysis, so we the important thing to know is these topics, whatever we have mentioned in an uh, syllabus. So we'll be covering that. Okay. Along with that, uh, I'll be teaching you how to interact Python into an Excel, like uh, writing a code in Excel for the Python and uh, implementing it to an visualization. So that isn't included in these topics. So we'll be learning all the data types, uh, variables, data type operators, also uh, the set and loop function. We'll be learning the Lambda functions module, also the error handling, and also we'll be learning the packages in Python. So we are learning the packages, uh, pandas, numpy, metaplotlib, and seaborn. Okay, got you, got you. So Python is basically for ETL, like to pull the data or something like uh, writing scripts or something like that? Or... Uh, no, it will be used for machine learning. ETL tool, we are using here the Power Query, which is uh, used for extract, transform and load the data. We are using Power Query in it. Okay, okay. Yeah, got it. Yeah. So, what else? So, and this would be the weekend batches, right? Like, a sorry? Day, this would be the weekend batches, right? Like, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, exactly. It would be on Saturday and Sunday. And the timings will be, you know, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Okay, it would be 6 p.m. Okay, okay. Yes, 6 to 8 p.m. So if uh, we are uh, good to go, so it will be extended with the concept if we all are uh, flexible. So already, uh, like, you know, the batch has started uh, from yesterday, like 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. batch has started. So if you register, you'll be putting uh, into that batch so that uh, you can start up as soon as possible. Okay, okay, so gotcha. So did we miss anything like uh, 
as we are joining from today like the no actually uh, i think couple of topics uh, today i explained you right the dynamic functions that thing uh, the like first day right we can uh, repeat it again in the next class as well okay okay yes so the class is not from 8 pm it's from 6 pm right just to be clear oh uh, yeah it's from 6 pm to 8 pm every weekend saturday sunday and uh, okay. it may extend according to the syllabus and comfortability of all the students so we can extend it uh, in upcoming classes to cover the topics and learn more and understand more into it got you got you and one quick question on power bi so in order for us to practice like uh, would you be providing any licenses or how is it like is it a free tool or uh yeah it is a free tool the dashboard we can use it uh so we have to actually sign in for the dashboard so we can use a free tool for a practice okay got you got you yes yeah and in case if you miss any session or something like uh, would be providing the notes or how does it work no actually we have a whatsapp group where we can interact uh, each other with the doubts and queries in a week days and also they'll provide you the recordings of the classes in a drive so where uh, you can access your recording uh, of the classes and practice and notes will be shared uh, in a drive as well as in a whatsapp okay cool yeah okay yeah i think i'm good like ah okay. so we'll uh, wind up the demo session then if you haven't uh, have it any doubts Yes, Veda. Yeah. Yes. So this PPT, whatever that you showed just some time back, right? It will be sharing with us. Ah, uh, yeah. If you want, I'll share you. Ah, uh, yeah. This one, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. If you want, I'll share you. Ah, uh, in a group, if you join the course and all, we'll share you in the drive. Sure. Thank you. So. Uh, shall we wind up the session? If you have any questions, uh, please ask quickly so that we can now uh, wind no up. No questions. Yeah. No, no, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Then, uh, thank you so much for your time, Abira and uh, Sai. So we'll uh, meet you next week. So thank you so much for your time. It was uh, nice talking to you all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the same. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye bye.